And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some spiders aggro. We got a shy puppy dog here with us. It's Friday the 13th. And so our, for our last deck of the night, you know, our late at night deck, we're going to be playing the spookiest deck, the scariest deck, some spiders. So it's been a little bit since I've played just kind of regular spiders aggro with Elise and Darius. Um, so going to do that with an, with an updated list. Uh, this is, you know, like, like the best, like beginning beginner deck, um, for you to play. But this has, of course, a lot of upgrades, um, from like what, what you just start off with, uh, in the regular beginner deck, but let's give this a try. Basically all we're trying to do is go wide. That's, that's the, the whole point of the deck. Go wide. We have obviously a lease, like the deck's really built around a lease. But besides that, we have Battlecaster that helps us go wide. And we're trying to go wide with a lot of spiders. Frenzied Skitter can pump our spiders. So can Arachnid Host. Um, we also have Crowd Favorite. is another reason why we're going wide and just trying to be real aggressive with all these spiders. So let's let's go. So we're starting. We're at 651. Here we go. So today, I started today at 523. We're now at 651, and you can see our records. We are, you know, three games over 500 today. We're 15 and 12. 15 and 12 on the day, and we've lost like 150 ranks. I think I'm just gonna redo everything. Let's just ship it back. Hello. Lady Elise, where are you? I must get out of here. I pulled the string. Okay, ready. Deck. I don't even have to worry about this Elise dying because we have a backup Elise. Get me out of here. Right, when, I need to give you dogs baths tomorrow. That's what we're going to do tomorrow, puppy dogs. We're going to give y'all baths. Been seven weeks since since they've gotten a bath. So they're preventing the Elise from flipping, but they take a whole lot of damage. And them taking a whole lot of damage means next turn, I, I'll i be surprised if they can survive in the next turn. I mean, I guess, I mean, all that they need, yeah, they need like, you know, infinite blockers. 
Put the flowers with the rest. I guess I shouldn't take all this damage. It doesn't really matter. All we need, all we have to do is just have one creature connect. So they just have to not have a, a one mana creature to play. Sweet. Aggro than their spiders. All right, Ezreal Karma. So I'm gonna have turn one rear guard, turn two house spider. We'll send these back. See what else we get. Thanks, Zufar. Where's my axe? Uh, it's a it's a little different. Yeah, the same. I change. I change. Yeah, this is. I changed a few cards from the. The, meta game deck, but not not many. Basically the same. Yeah, you know, like three, four cards, something like that. There was like a decimate. I wanted. There was like a decimate. And I wanted another, another See, Darius instead. I'll do better this time. Stuck on me. There you go. Awesome, Team Kill. You got from Diamond Four to Diamond Two tonight with this. Sweet. Tread lightly, strike hard. We're just doing one damage to that. So they have. They gotta have like the four four mana do one damage to two different things card. <clears throat> All right, so they're making the block to just to just stay alive. I 
I know that they don't really have rats. You miss me. I know what lurks in the shadow. I don't really see any downside to playing Darius. Smooth as if I go straight to combat, I could have lethal if they don't have anything. I feel like it's just better to play Darius though. Like they have to have like Will of Ionia. Something like that to survive. Sweet. Little spiders. Spooking it up. On this Friday the 13th. I, think I heard today there's 12 of those Friday the 13th movies, like the, the Jason ones, there's 12 of them. I didn't realize there were so many of those things. No, Harvey. No. Stop scratching the chair. Ooh, a mirror match. So I like the crawling sensation in the mirror. I do not want elixir. Darius is definitely good, uh, but it's expensive. I'll, I'm gonna keep Darius. Do need to draw one or two drop. There we go. That'll do. Where's my axe? Okay, ready. Alright, so you can trade here. You can trade. Alright, eat that, eat that. Still a good trade for us. We just got rid of four cards on their side for one and a half cards on our side. The skitter and half of the house spider. Just traded for four cards. Three creatures and that's that trick. That's why we're very, very ahead now. Hey, what's up, boot? Yep, doing good. Get past me. Don't have Darius next turn, but we'll have Darius the turn after. Oh, wow, what a draw. That was maybe our best possible draw. Okay, ready. You must get by these first. Um, yeah, 
yeah, summon the two spiderlings. <laughs> Got a good feeling about this. They may have another, like they are not playing, like they had a lot of mana and they didn't play either of those cards. I kind of expected them to have a Darius, but yeah. All right, three and oh. We're beating the other spiders decks. When we played War Mother's Ramp, we kept on playing Mirrors. And now we play the spider deck, and we've just played back to back spiders. Is there something in the. Is there something in the algorithm that gets you to play mirror matches? Could be. I don't know. Could just be results based thinking here. Maybe there is something that has you just play mirror matches. I'm not saying there's not. I'm not saying there is. Yeah. Um, that's the link to the deck right there. There's Did you want do you want the code? I can I can go there and get the code for you if you wanted the code. Do I mind if Elise dies? You will suffer long. Well, probably not. We get, you know, an extra... Yeah, we get a lot of extra damage in by letting Elise die. Get an extra 4 damage in, and we get the extra 1-1. One, one. So we have the perfect number of creatures for crowd favorite. I'll do better this time. Mm -hmm. I got to block a little bit. This would be bad if they have eight damage and pump spells that kills me. All right, not the biggest crowd favorite. Still a good one. Of course, the next turn we go Skitter. And attack. We have the Elixir of Might. Oh, we got Brother's Bond, even better. There's nothing to fear. Mm. 
What's your hurry? If they just block there and nothing else, we could have lethal. Darn. Now we put him down to one. It makes no sense to block the overwhelm and not block, you know, instead of blocking the other thing, but. Yeah, so we can only just put them down to one. So I'm gonna just kill Elise and. Kill Elise, do seven damage, then put them down to five. Good draw. Oh, that was definitely a good draw for them. But I just gotta stay alive. My axe is ready. Okay. Yeah, I like the War Mother's ramp. Honestly, we did really good except for mirror matches. We lost three mirror matches. We were 0-3 in, th in mirror matches, so we were five and two otherwise. And the mirrors, every single mirror, like two of them, we didn't even cast War Mothers, and our opponents did, and the other one they cast it before us, so we just didn't do as good of job of casting. War Mother's Ramp. Fate brings us together. Empires are built upon action. Move. Not so fast. I'm gonna have like direct damage. At least I should be able to. This won't be a fair fight. Vile feast, maybe. I don't think they'll have, like, direct damage. So I think we can go down to two pretty safely. Yeah, we had... We could have put him down to negative 20. Yeah, we honestly could have put him down to negative 20 there. That's true, they could have Decimate, but if I went straight to combat, Decimate's slow, so they couldn't, they wouldn't have Decimate. Yeah, but that's true, that, that could be a draw, they could, that's a good, good call there. That's one, that's one for me to think about, I, I didn't even think about that one, so yeah, that's something for me to keep in mind. Yeah, I only played 7 with Lux Control because, um... Because we went, uh, we went two hours still with just those seven games, and so just stopped it at the seven games. Another Elise deck. Well, you just only play mirrors. Oh no, those brothers. That's not good. This is not when you want brothers bonds. <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a slower deck, so you know it was two hours. I was like, all right, well we need to. For time considerations, we need to move on. I'll do better this time. The War Mother's Ramps took like two hours for that one also. Thankfully, thankfully, you know, like this is a fast, you know, this is going to be a fast one. Because, yeah, we sure took our time with the other ones. Skitter is busted as a 4 4. Man, Frenzied Skitter is busted as a 4 4. I will unite the Freljord. I have my orders. Swiftly now. So it's a 2 for 2 trade. I traded 
that two drop that makes the two bodies and one brother spawn for an ash and skitter. Sure hope they don't have frostbite stuff. I just went all in. Yeah, no frostbite stuff. All right, they're down to three. This isn't over, like they could definitely have like harsh winds. They didn't have the mana for harsh winds before. Vengeance. That's worse for me. Yeah, so this wasn't over. Me. Show them the way. Yeah, this was definitely a real close game. Oh, we've been playing a lot of close games that we've been um, on the right side of so far, but. Not this one. Yeah, that's game. Well, I guess I'm gonna mark. But they got two power to get get across, and I'm at two. Vengeance. I wonder if I would have won if I would have just played my two creatures and attacked. Well, I mean, we would have at least killed Ash. Now they would have had their other creature to block, so now we would not have. Now we would have lost, still. Even if I would have played those creatures pre combat. Alright, four and one. Take a four one every time. But we're ranking back up after the other day whenever we ranked down to like the nine hundreds. On our way back up. Another aggro deck. I wish I would have just played Arachnid Horror. Would have used my mana better. That's fine. I can do this. Um. Explosives bright. No one's the wiser. Don't mind me. Ready. Getting close. Where's my axe? Fuse is lit. Is 
This is gonna be close. Okay, ready. Sure about that? Hmm. What a card. Blade's Edge. Ouch. That was another four damage that I wanted to get in there. Reporting in. Time for the main event. That would be nice to have that four damage in. <sighs> okay. So you block here, you block here, you block here, and then I don't block Draven. I'm taking two, four, five, six, seven. Blech. Time to go. I guess I could have just blocked the one one with my three two and cut the one one. What a what a card to draw. That's always been there. Come on, get there. Get there. No, if I would have just kept that extra 1-1, one, one, I could have pumped the 1-1. One, one. And something uh. else. Wow, Decimate was their last card. What a crazy game. So we're just playing aggro mirrors and playing super close games. We won the first three, lost the last two. Look at this. All they do is match you into mirrors or very similar archetypes. Why can't we play the slow decks, pub? We'll run them over. Where does slow decks at? Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of, a lot of decisions to make. So close. Okay, well, this is a slow deck. We'll see if we run him over. I could see sending back Darius, because Darius does cost six. But Darius is super powerful. I like having it at the top end. I already have a turn one, two, and three. By the time we get to turn four, you know, we'll draw four cards. So, you know, by that time, like, we'll probably find other things to do. And it's just good to have the Darius at the top end. All right, we get the, the attack token on turn two. Good for Elise. Ugh. I don't really like drawing these brothers' bonds. Not a great, not a great frenzied skitter. We basically get no ability, but I think I like that more than just playing a legion rear guard. Oh. Right. Probably should not have walked into that so much. Where's my axe? But I should have just passed before playing Skitter. Why do you gotta have another? Ugh. So yeah, so much for running them over. Double avalanche.
is old, I, still see I tried dealing a lot of damage. I don't think I played that turn particularly well, though. I think I could have done better. I think I should have just Darius. So likely sweeper. They're making that attack means likely sweeper. So I think they have Ruination. Wow. I just let that happen? A storm approaches. Alright, so... Darius means our other Darius turns into a Decimate. So Decimate does 4 damage to the opponents. GG's. Or five and two. Got there. Harvey, you are scratching up my chair, and I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I have to keep petting Harvey down here because, like, the second that I stop petting her, she starts clawing at the chair. And she's already got some claw marks on this new chair now. Alright, Zed Lucian. Oh, I really like the deck variety. Yeah, I think there's... I think you basically can play anything and do well with it. And I like that, and I, and I think that's going to just keep uh, improving over time as well. Like, I, like um, I'm excited to see what they do with this next update. But yeah, Riot is really committed to you know, having everything be playable. Like, they want... That really hurts. That's such a great combination. It's the, the perfect start. That's the start I dream of whenever playing the Demacia deck. This game's very over. This game's just over.
I'm left with basically nothing. I played a whole lot of like these Demacia decks, and I usually do good against the spider stuff. Their their hand here was impeccable. Smell that? A fight to cook it. The hand I dream of, though. A delicious challenge. Tracker into protector for tracker with attacks, into Laurent Protege into double war chefs into Swiftwing Lancer. It's a hand to dream of. I don't think that that was a very good block, honestly. Like, I would have the 5-4... I would have the 5-4 block the Skitterer. Strength and grace, beauty in the play. Stop. Clawing. I guess we have a little bit of a chance. Now that last, those last two turns were were really good for me. The skitter was awesome, and then that crowd favorite was a great draw. So because of Darius, we have a little bit of a chance. Not a big chance, but a little bit. They won't suffer long. draw another Darius that would be a decimate that would be great so the thing is I have I guess I have to cast that now before I would have to cast that now before Darius dies honestly like it'd be best to go to combat they take they block here they take six and then I cast this second main but if I do that then it's gone. So I have to cast it first. Which means I might as well do... Uh, means they get to cast more things. So it's not like the game's over. We'll see what they got. Soldier, to me. Well, that makes things more difficult. Now they have five toughness. Now it's not lethal anymore. Direct assault. Head to the base. Aha. No one goes hungry. Amazing hand, good match. Good game, good game. They got us.
All right, basically same matchup. You know, a whole bunch of Demacia cards again. Not, not a good matchup. Is it better to play Elise on turn two or double one drop? The double one drops do more damage. They can attack for six total damage. Double one drop. No one's the wiser. I like that uh, mobilized car just just because that that oh, horn sound. I really like that horn sound. That bum bum bum. All right, eleven damage. Or sorry, nine damage down to eleven. But all their creatures in hand cost one less now, so they can catch up. <laughs> Gondor calls for aid. That's what I did yesterday. I was talking about that earlier. I I watched the Hobbit movies again. They would fall by my I watched. Stay away from my pets. Um. Head to the base. Oh God. Can't fight on an empty stomach. I watched all three Hobbit movies. I also should should pass first because they're they're definitely gonna play a creature. For justice, for Demacia. I stand ready. So I could do the Mark of the Isles on one of these things and put them down to one. But I want to kill this Garen. So they're going to be at four. Will I hadn't seen I hadn't seen any of the Hobbit movies since. Um, Uh, since they since theaters i saw each one in theaters break their spirit and their sword harry repose you are toast feel the sizzle and i didn't like i don't i don't like them as much as the lord of the rings movies but they were they were still pretty good me i don't like how like the battles, like they they have like the orcs just die so easily, like like all the time, like the orcs and goblins and stuff. Like all they do is just like run right through it, them all, and they just go flying everywhere. It's just so completely unrealistic. We each died, then found hope. <laughs> Darius needs a horse. And they use so many of the same themes. I won't won't spoil it, but so many of the same themes as like the Lord of the Rings movies, especially with like the the things that come and save. You know, that always come save them. It's like the same kind of stuff. Wish they had a little bit more variety and they weren't just like the Lord of the Rings movies. You have to stop. Stop scratching the chair, Harvey. All right, we're six and three. We could finish with a seven and three here. Explosives primed. Oh no, a hapless aristocrat. 
Ouch. That hurts. That's a that's a great card to play. I wish I would have played the Precious Pet. I I played the Saboteur. The Saboteur because it attacks for three. So, you know, it attacks, it attacks for more. So that's why I played that. But that Aristocrat was pretty perfect. Hmm. All right, Rex. Take care. Have yep. Have a good one. Not sure if this is better than going Precious Pet Battlecaster. You have to stop scratching this RV. You have to get me out of here. You're making my life difficult. I really hope they don't have another Withering Whale. The sun's out, the crowd's ready. Let's wreck it! Time to attack for a lot. No, they have another Withering Whale. Oh man, just the best possible card. What a killer. What a killer. Let's take a real close look at the action. I get to trade these now and they just take six. Yeah, I mean that's that's just game. Ugh. Second withering whale. Game winner. Sure, why not? Have everything else anyway. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I can't play around it. Right, because it's fast speed, so... Because, yeah, they were, like, tapped out on their turn. And I could have gone straight to combat, but, you know, it's fast speed, so it doesn't matter. So. Back up to 18. All right, well, we had a good run at it. You're going to need to handle it yourself, Darius. I got no help for you. You're going to have to do 18 damage. Yeah, this is our last this is our last match of the night. But yeah, we could definitely just GG like this is this is done. Come on, opponent. Sure. 
Sure, just have a 5 5 life linker too. Playing around Ruination. Alright, so we went six and four. Um you know, a whole lot faster deck, you know, if you wanna you wanna be playing stuff ranking up fast, you know, still still six four, good record. Um, you know, over there in Masters, and you know, we, we play that six and four in an hour, as opposed to the Heimer Lux control that went four and three in <laughs> in in two hours. <laughs> So yeah, faster matches there. But got our spooky Friday the 13th deck. I liked it, it was good. Um, maybe a little bit too much on the pump. You know, like the one elixir, three brothers bonds. I don't know, I could see playing a third glimpse beyond instead of one of those, playing just an, another glimpse beyond to get, it, get some more card draw in. Stop, you're gonna ruin my chair and I'm gonna be really sad. Um, so I could see changing that. But anyway, um, good old good old spooky spiders. All right, those of y'all watching on YouTube, make sure you hit the like button. Um, and also please leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the deck. Uh, if there's anything that you're doing a little bit different with the spiders aggro that's working out well for you. Um, all that kind of stuff. I know this is, a, this is a good deck when you're starting off for sure. And it's still just a regularly good deck. As you see, we went six and four in Masters rank. All right, but thank you so much for watching some Spiders Aggro, and I'll see you for the next video.